Hello, my name is Naive the Vegetarian Politics, and today we will be doing episode 16, uh, part 1 of the History of the Republican Party series. And this episode, uh, like the last one, will be a two part uh, episode, where in this episode we will discuss the why of, at least in my opinion, why uh, Donald Trump won the 2016 presidential election. And the next episode uh, should be the uh, what. Now, this might be the last episode of the series. Uh, we've come a long way, um, and uh, it's been a it's been quite a fun series. And uh, yeah, let's go, so let's get straight into the video, really. Uh, so we have the six price system uh, Wikipedia article because that's the system we're in and the system that um, this series is this, uh, last part of the series is taking place in. So first, I want to talk about the Tea Party. So the Tea Party movement was a fiscally conservative political movement. They wanted to uh, uh, push down the uh, debt, get rid of the debt, and get rid of the budget, or s lower the budget. And well, I think they were fairly correct with what they wanted to. And um, they started this true uh, populist transformation on the right, because before that, all the right people on the right were like. Oh, big businesses, they're cool, we love them. Uh, but now the Tea Party movement had become this this populist movement, almost. And um, and they become a grassroots populist movement. And that created a shift in the right towards populism. Uh, you can see here that um, the reasons uh, this, this whole group started was because you can see uh, in 2004, the debt was uh, 7 trillion. It grew by three trillion by two thousand eight. Four years later, right? Four years later in twenty twelve, the debt had grown by five trillion. So that was our that was a two trillion uh, deficit in general, uh, which were, that's really what caused the uh, the creation of the Tea Party. So the Tea Party was truly the 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 the, the push that the right needed to become populist, and that caused the uh, creation of uh, of this populist right, which exists in this day, and um, and Donald Trump, he was able to encapsulate that populist pressure that had formed from the Tea Party movement. And you know, the Tea Party movement, it was generally libertarian, and I liked it, but it was they were they were really just looking for someone, some populist. Um, I I think they would have done better. I think they would have preferred. A libertarian type populist like Ron Paul, but um, I think uh, they were able to go with Donald Trump, and they did fine. And they they uh, they followed Donald Trump because he was able to encapsulate the populist pressure and direct it away from this libertarian ideology to more right wing populist ideology, which is what the Republican Party follows now. You can see that um, in 2012 they ran Mitt Romney, who was not the greatest representation of this movement. Was that that did not help the Republican Party there, and uh, I would say probably the second biggest reason that um, Donald Trump managed to pull a victory is Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is not a very um, popular person, especially among the older the older um, group. She, uh, and among among younger people, she's she's well liked, but that's because she. Um, People don't really, younger people don't really know, uh, I guess what you could say, what she's done, because she, uh, she just was not that great of a, um, she's not that great of a person, really. Uh, she's, uh, she has, she's had a lot of scandals in her time, uh, and one of the biggest things that really happened is the email scandal, uh, which really caused her probably to lose this election, and, um, yeah. She was unpopular among older people because of, because of what she's she had done, she has done under her in her political career she was unpopular and that led to uh, in 2016 Donald Trump managed to win the presidential election uh, at a fairly fairly large margin of course some say he did not win the popular vote and actually in this election there were quite a few a uh, uh, faithless electors. Cup one to uh, Ron Paul, 
in Texas, and I believe one to Bernie Sanders in in Hawaii, and a couple in Washington. Um, but overall, Donald Trump managed to win the election, and uh, yeah. So what you take away from this video is that um, in, uh, in really from the 2010 to 2016, uh, this populist pressure had been formed by the Tea Party movement, which uh, Donald Trump was able to encapsulate in his in his ideology. And um, Hillary Clinton, who ran against Donald Trump, was not a very popular candidate, not a very popular person, especially among among the the older the older demographic. Who you know were more likely to turn out against Hillary Clinton than, you know, uh, I guess you could say for Trump, and those two things really caused Donald Trump to win the election. At least in my opinion. So yeah, uh, as always, this is just my opinion. Um, my name is Naive Libertarian Politics, so take everything say it with a grain of salt. Um, I'm trying to make videos every day. Uh, I've been mostly successful. Um, from just just as a heads up, from Sunday to Friday, uh, I will not be making any videos. I have uh, some personal stuff going on. So yeah. Um, besides that, I'll be trying to make videos every day. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.